welcome to Yala Safari YouTube vlog. I'm so excited for this one. This is our first ever, ever, ever safari. So we're very excited to come to Yala to have our first ever safari experience. We were staying at Gaga Bay's in Yala. So we left Ella, took a public bus and then got to Yala. And we're staying at Gaga Bay's resort. And as you can see, it's all individual huts. So we were staying in the monkey hut, but Gaga Bay's organized everything for us. We booked our safari through them via WhatsApp before we got there when we booked the hotel stay over. So everything was so, so easy. They organized everything, pick up in the morning. Couldn't have asked for it better. This is our little hut. So it's all made from natural sources. So it's almost a mud hut and everything is sustainable. It's all eco-friendly, massive room, massive bed, mosquito net. Then you have outside patio with little chairs and we saw some wildlife our first glimpse of the wildlife before we do our safari but really spacious room we were only here for one night but we didn't leave Gorgeous pebbled floor, reminded me so much of Bali. Beautiful interiors, really nice place to stay. It wasn't expensive at all, I'll put the price on the screen, but really cool place to come and stay for Yala Safari. Plus there was a pool at the resort. There's restaurants that we ate here. We just stayed here all day before our safari the next day and just chilled out. So we had some sandwiches for lunch and then himself got in the pool and I just read and enjoyed myself and chilled out ready for the day ahead tomorrow. And we saw our second snake in Sri Lanka. So this was in the garden, quite near the huts, I would say. So quite worrying, but we were near the safari park. So we were getting some additional animal experiences for free. Then we had dinner at Gaga Bay's. We both had some fish noodles and then we set our alarms for lovely 4 a.m. And this is us in our little cocoon of a mosquito net for the night. So up bright and early with everyone else that was staying here was also doing safari, but we were in a private one. Some of the other couples were also in a private Jeep. And then we set off for Yala National Park. very blurry it is 5 30 yeah by 5 30 a.m and we're on safari waiting for the gates to open at six and then we're gonna explore yala safari see what animals we can see it's very very early and there are a lot of other what would you call them trucks sitting around jeeps sitting around waiting so yeah we're just in a queue waiting for the gates to open Off we went, time to safari. So we set off, watched the sunrise, which was stunning around the park. The park is absolutely massive as well. We got our first glimpse of wildlife and we saw a crocodile. Never seen a crocodile before in the wild, so that was quite cool. And then we headed in, drove around and just saw a lot of animals. So I'll put them on the screen when I spot them and just enjoy this little David Attenborough few minutes of wildlife in Sri Lanka.
lot of people come to Yala to see the leopards. Now, you're not always guaranteed to see them, especially if you go in the morning safari like we did. It is more common to see them in the evening. But we were actually very lucky to see leopards twice. So we spotted this one in up in the tree. Quite hard to see, so I put a circle around it. But everyone gathers here as soon as there's a leopard all the trucks will show up everyone will want to see the leopards and then we actually did see one later on crossing the road behind us but we didn't get that on camera unfortunately but we were very lucky to see two leopards so it's not always the evening tour that you have to go on to see them Then around 11 a.m. we came here for a lunch break, bathroom break. Obviously we'd been up since 4 a.m. so it was quite nice. And lunch was also provided by our accommodation. And then this is towards the end of the safari. So we were on our way out, but we spent around six hours, I would say here in safari. And it was one of the best experiences ever. I would totally recommend it. It's obviously a cheaper way to do it in Sri Lanka, but yeah, we can't wait to do maybe a safari in Africa someday, but it was such a cool experience just to be around all the animals in the wild. And then we left Yala and headed to the south of Sri Lanka to do some beach hopping along their very famous beaches. So I will see you in the next video in Tengale. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to ask any questions you have in the comments below.